continuing on, on the job, in, on April 27th, 1996, in Home Safety Hotline. It's a new day. And we got new mail. HSH Corporate is introducing the new office pet. Hello, Home Safety Hotline family. We're excited to introduce all of you to our brand new office pet, Whiskers. Wh wasn't Whiskers the name of the cat of one of the callers? Whiskers is loyal, friendly, and as serious as about pest control as we are. Please give Whiskers a warm welcome if you see him wander by your desk. Note, please refrain from picking up or feeding Whiskers as he is still getting to know everyone in the office and has scheduled feeding time. Sincerely, HSH Corporate. Aw, how cute. An office cat. The person who called us about the, the termites had a cat named Whiskers. I mean, it's a common name. Many cats, I'm sure, are named Whiskers. It doesn't mean anything. Okay. Uh, I got a discount coupon because I'm doing so well. Uh, my high accuracy rate has awarded me today's daily coupon for a silver medallion. 100% pure silver comes with an iron chain for convenience. For safety both in and out of the home, never let the medallion leave your sight. Supply is limited to one. Get it while I can. Receive my discount. Type the following code. Pedal to the metal. Wow. From three hundred from three hundred thirty-four dollars to three hundred dollars. What that's the biggest discount I've gotten so far. Man, I'd be a fool not to buy the silver medallion. There's only one. I can only get one of them. It's very valuable. Gotta gotta give some I gotta, you know, scrape some some money together, get that medallion. Also, I got a new video on my desktop. It's science underscore mysteries. All right, let's check it out. I love science and mysteries. The mystery of mice. Mice, one of humanity's oldest friends and oldest enemies. From the Black Plague to the shelves of our pet stores, mice have lived alongside humans for centuries. And just like humans, mice may even be evolving alongside us as well. This is a mus musculus, otherwise known as the common house mouse. And this is mus musculus loquentis, otherwise known as the smart mouse, a newly discovered species known for its uniquely colored iris, and more importantly, its increased intelligence. Mice have brains smaller than peanuts, and yet, modern science has observed they are capable of thinking quite intelligently, and in the case of the smart mouse, perhaps even capable of communication. With the help of modern computer technology, today's scientists have been able to interpret the previously indecipherable squeaks of a smart mouse and have discovered what seems to be hidden messages within. Let's take a listen. of evolution, or are we just hearing things that aren't there? Do mice and men have more in common than previously thought? Well, I suppose that's what makes this a science mystery. Huh, I learned something today. I was not aware of the existence of the smart mouse. And these, this, this world we live in, so many wonders, we'll never explore them all. But what we can do is go to work. On Thursday, let's clock in and help some people solve their household problems. All right, we should be getting a call from our supervisor. Hopefully get access to more entries. 
more to learn, more science to learn. There's still plenty of unaccessible entries. We're not getting a call yet. Oh, there we go, there we go. Took a while. Hello, Supervisor Carol here again. I've been watching the Closely employee. The? I'm impressed so far by your dedication to accuracy. I have once again updated your permission so you should have access to more extensive household hazard information. Keep up the great work, employee. Our eyes rest upon me. Thanks. Has the word the come back in fashion? Well, in, in 1996. Sounds archaic. All right, let's, what did we learn about? We've got the attic gnome. Attic gnomes are a subspecies of gnome, gnome known to rest in attics and ceilings. Uh, knocking or rapping sound coming from the ceilings. Surplus of dust coming from their ventilation systems. Uh, feeding habits can be... Uh, hello? I think the map is something wrong with our faucet. Recently I've been having the worst kind of stomach bug. Just aches and pains constantly. Or a month still hasn't gone away, and I'm thinking there's got to be something wrong with the water because we only eat fresh, homegrown fruits and vegetables here, and we ain't ever had any problems until now. I keep hearing things about rusted pipes and water poisoning and all kinds of terrible things that can happen to the water. So, can you just send someone out to get this fixed for us? Uh oh. She's thinking it's the water, that it's the plumbing, but no, it's not, is it? They eat only fresh, homegrown fruits and vegetables, and now he has a stomach ache. Please hold. I think we know what that is. But before we answer that, we need to educate ourselves about these other things in case the network goes down. Uh, let's see. Gnomes. One moment, sir. One moment. I'm, I'm not studying your problem, but I have to study other people's potential problems. Uh, let's see. Attic gnomes consume dust, cobwebs, household pets like sp pests. Not pets. Pests. Like spiders. When frightened, they will violently expel their meals, which send large quantities of dust particulates into the air, causing air quality issues. They are very easily frightened. Oh, that sounds no good. Dust and clean your attics, ceilings regularly, uh, so they won't move in. They won't have any food. Sounds reasonable. The cellar grotto. I don't want a grotto in my cellar. A large cave-like network that appears spontaneously in cellars and basements. Report a bad smell coming from the basement, higher humidity in the home, increase in beetles, frogs, and pe related pests. Uh, can This can increase the number of dangerous pests in the home. Heightened humidity can cause warped floorboards, weaken foundations, other hazards. Cellar grottos can be removed by finding their creator and presenting them with a gift of gold. Their creator often resides somewhere within the grotto's subterranean lake. For safety, bring spelunking and snorkeling equipment on your excursion. Excursion, consider utilizing H. You know, I think I would consider using the grotto removal team. This sounds a bit involved. I wouldn't want to handle this myself. Fay Feast. Is that nutrients? Is that a dish of nutrients? We love nutrients. Feasts are mid to large sized piles of various edible food substances, frequently including flour, cornmeal, various species of fungi. They are known to appear near eating areas of the home. They're not dangerous if consumed, but if untouched, they can provoke more dangerous activity or else its continued presence can attract other household pests such as cockroaches or carpenter ants. Feasts are a sign of a hospitable presence and should be consumed immediately once sighted to prevent provoking or offended the gifter. For maximum assured safely, all members of the home should partake, partake in the feast. Oh, well, I, I, I guess... What, can we can we add condiments, like, or does it have to be eaten as is? Like, would would the gifter be insulted if I got out some like sauces and spices? I don't know. Fay flu. Oh yeah. 
Rare and dangerous disease, commonly spelled by household, spread by household fay. Headaches, fever, eye discoloration, seeds taking root in skin pores, pores and blooming. It's rarely fatal, can have long-lasting effects on the lifetime health of an affected human. Long-term symptoms include dizziness, fatigue, monocolored vision, deliriousness, and endless dreams. There's no cure for fey flu. You can take precautions against it by keeping a clean, fey-free home. Yeah. Seems as yeah, it's unfortunate. No cure, huh? Floor roots. Tree-like brown roots that grow upwards from the floor to wrap themselves around various objects or humans in the vicinity. They grow slow enough that they serve very little danger to awaken aware human adults. If not spotted quickly, there are known strangling hazard for human children and pets while they sleep. Removal should be a priority in family households. They will require something to wrap around before they cease their growth. Acquire dolls or similar human-shaped facsimile to give them a safer alternative. Place the dolls in the affected room. Leave the roots alone for the night. By morning, the dolls and roots should be gone and the room safe to inhabit. Make any repairs to the floor as needed, or utilize HSH's home repair services. I wonder, do you have to pay anything to utilize HSH's services? Because they it seems like they can provide many services. Uh-oh. The Horde. Mm-hmm. An invisible, odorless collective consciousness that is known to collect and store large quantities of common household refuse. The Horde's tendency to store vast quantities of trash in the home make them prone to spreading disease to the home's inhabitants. Rotten food, used syringes, and rusty metal are among the more common household hazards that can be introduced by the Horde's presence. So this, this is what was going on in the Saw games. This is why there are so many syringes everywhere. Once introduced to a home, the Horde will continue to gather and hoard their treasures indefinitely. It is advised to sell one's home at the first sight of the Horde's presence and make the relocation process go over more smoothly. To prevent the... I mean, you're selling the home to someone else, though. You're passing the problem on. To prevent the Horde from gathering in one's home, it's advised to keep one's home as tidy as possible to not attract the Horde's attention. The introduction of a hob... To the house. Okay, so you get some hobs. They'll help you clean. But, you know, you want to avoid metaf metamorphosis. It's like you're spinning some plates, you know? You're getting the hobs to avoid the hordes, but then you have to leave out cream and cheese for the hobs to prevent them from turning into bogarts. And if it turns into a bogart, you gotta sell your home anyway. You can't win. Laundry gnome... Subspecies of gnome with a thick fiber-like fur fold their bodies into various shapes and resemble dirty towels. Homeowners with laundry gnomes report lar loud rattling or banging sounds coming from the washing machine and missing socks. They propose no direct threat to humans. Their lifestyles often lead to broken washing machines or dryers, which occasionally cause small floods. Water damage can lead to further problems in a home. Laundry gnomes should not be left to their own devices. They will move on from a home if they are no longer permitted to enter a washing machine. Great care should be taken to inspect each and every piece of laundry before washing. Yeah, it might, you know, disguise itself as a towel, and you might put it in the washing machine. Not a very dangerous one, this. What about the night gnome? Night gnomes are small, hairy creatures with a pointed head. They are known for their tendency to enter the sleeping quarters of humans to watch them while they sleep. Homeowners affected by night gnomes re frequently report sighting them in the middle of the night or report heavy breathing sounds during late hours. They're not known to be deadly from humans, but those who suffer from heart conditions should consider wearing sleeping masks to prevent being startled by their presence. It will move on to other homes if it's bored or restless by my sleeping activities. There's no guarantee that they will become bored by me if they find my sleep sufficiently entertaining. Huh. Alright, I mean... I guess I don't have much of a pro- I don't have too much of a problem with this. Night Wisp. Sorry. 
subspecies of wisp, bright, floating light, hover outside windows at night while whispering promises of wealth and good fortune. They're not dangerous to humans unless listened to. Refrain from listening to their whispers and following their directions. They will move on to other homes after a week if they are ignored consistently. Drown out their whispers with music or wear a sleeping mask to prevent sleep disruption. Portal. Mm hmm. Portals are door-shaped openings to an outdoor location other than the homeowners. Discovered most commonly in basements or underground cellars. Homeowners with portals frequently report cold drafts, strange dreams, and a strong desire to enter. Portals can introduce a wide variety of dangerous elements to a home and should be dealt with as soon as they are discovered. They can cause drafts and heating problems. Portals should be sealed shut with wooden planks, bricks, or common building materials. The seals should be airtight to not allow anything to come inside the home. Utilize HSH's home security services to ensure portals are sealed safely. I mean, that doesn't seem so bad. What, what could be the worst thing to happen if you went in there? Probably in an adventure in a fantasy world. Something like that. It can't nothing nothing wrong, right? Nothing can nothing wrong can happen there. What about a seedling? Seedlings are small insectoid creatures about the size of an aphid. They are known for burrowing in outdoor planters or gardens, feeding off the roots of nearby weeds. Though their weed killing lifestyles can make them useful for gardeners, they're extremely territorial react violently to anything competing for their food source. Never remove a weed from a seedling-infested garden. They are known to compel competitors to commit violent acts on themselves or others. To remove a seedling from a garden, one should not go near their established feeding grounds. Instead, one should use a hose, sprinklers, or similar range devices to overwater and drown out the seedlings from afar. Okay, if we have one more, the Travel Gnome. Is it in the suitcase, or is it the suitcase? <laughs> Highly invasive subspecies of gnome that are known to stow away inside the luggage of unsuspecting travelers to introduce themselves to new households. They are found most commonly in highly forested areas of the globe. Travel gnomes can affect the household in various ways. They will often create expansive gardens inside their new homes, inside the suitcase? Leaving soil, plants, and common outdoor pests in their way. These gardens, in addition to introducing a variety of dangerous pests, can also create foundational problems in a home if they continue to grow unabated. Spraying pesticides and weed killer in the home can deter a travel gnome's gardening prospects, at which point we'll wait for a new opportunity to travel to a better location. To encourage a travel gnome to relocate, one can invite others to stay at their household. I mean, oh, come on now. Create new opportunities for the travel gnome to stow. You're just passing the problem on. I don't agree with these. But anyway, that's all of our new entries for now. Uh, the person, the, the Ash, who has been very patient and on hold, says that they've been eating, fre they've been f eating fresh homegrown fruits and vegetables. And they have a stomach ache. Which means... It's probably the false beat. Trick gardeners into harvesting and eating them by disguising them among the vegetables. Harmless unless eaten by a human. Take root in the human's stomach. Digestive issues. Worst kind of stomach bug. Aches and pains constantly. Well, there's nothing he can do. A swallowed false beat cannot be removed without killing the host. Sorry, Ash. I don't have good news for you. Um, enjoy your new friend for life. Apparently. Sorry. You hate to have to break news to that like that to people. You want to help them. But sometimes there's just no good solution. Or in this case, no solution. Um, have fun with that lifelong stomach ache. Hello? The police told me to 
to call this number, so I, uh, hope I got the right number here. Anyway, uh, I think... I think somebody is stalking me. I can see their shadow at night at my window, just staring into the house. When I close the window, I can still hear him out there, breathing. I've been sleeping on the couch every night this past week, just so he won't see me. The police said they can't do anything, so please, send somebody or do something about this. I can hardly sleep anymore. All right. Well, I think that we this is one of our new entries. It was the Night Gnome, right? <clears throat> Shadow at night. Staring into the house. So he, in the picture, he's looking through the window. Enter the sleeping quarters to watch them while they sleep. Sight them in the middle of the night. Report heavy, hear heavy breathing sounds. She can hear him out there breathing. It's got to be the night gnome. And apparently, they're just going to move on if they become bored by you. So hopefully Felicia is a boring sleeper. Look, Felicia, I don't know if you're going to be satisfied with this answer, but it's better than the last person. You don't want to have what the last person had, Felicia. Night Gnome, we're not really a problem. It's just, you know, uncomfortable. Yellow? Hello, yes. I believe there may be some kind of problem with our home ventilation. Lately, we've been hearing awful banging noises coming from the ceiling, and the air quality seems to have been drastically reduced. My daughter hasn't been able to stop coughing. Okay. Air quality's down. Please hold. Could possibly be the attic gnome. Uh, because if it gets scared, it vomits out a large qu qu quantity of dust. Let's see. Banging noises coming from the ceiling. Report a knocking or rapping sound coming from the ceilings. And yeah, can't stop coughing. It got scared and vomited dust. So let's see. Uh, look, Belinda, the solution, clean your dirty attic. Y your attic is filthy. Clean it up and it'll, it'll leave. I mean, I don't know if that's the answer you want to hear. It was her own fault. She let her attic get too dusty. I mean, we're here to provide information, but you got to do some maintenance on your home yourself, you know? Prevention is important. Be proactive in maintaining your house so you don't get you don't get gnomes. Hello. Please help me. The police refused to do anything. They told me to call you. Please say you can help. My my little boy, Jeremy, has gone missing. He's eight years old and such a sweetheart. The last time I saw him was when I was tucking him into bed last night and checking his messy closet for bees to calm him down. Oh, it's silly, I know, but my poor Jeremy is always so concerned about bees and, and wasps and stuff. <laughs> I miss him. <laughs> I miss him so much. <laughs> oh, please, please, please say you can help me find him. He's all that I have. Okay, missing child. Checking the messy closet for bees. Jeremy is concerned about bees and wasps. Please hold. I mean, we have seen some things that can take children. Bee, like, well, he's concerned about bees or wasps. It's not going to be the Bogart, because this... I don't see why Jeremy would con would perceive this as bees or wasps. 
Not gonna be the Hobbs. The false artifact can take children. Oh yeah, the false artifact makes a gentle buzzing sound. She couldn't hear it, but Jeremy could. And he she does say his clo his closet is messy. He has a messy closet. There's a lot of stuff in there. A false artifact could easily hide in there. It was making buzzing sounds. The child is missing. May I don't have good news for you about this one. Uh, please call HSH Pest Removal Services to re and uh, and uh, it, 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 so sorry, May. Sorry. Good job. Sometimes, you know, sometimes there's nothing you can do. Yellow. finalized the purchase and naturally afterwards found that there are several large cracks in the walls of the basement that were not previously disclosed as well as several pieces of half-eaten cheese littered across the basement floor i haven't been able to get in contact with the previous owners about this and i'm wondering if you can offer any kind of legal advice mm, i can't offer legal advice but uh how old fracture hob yeah Leave out a slice of any kind of cheese. F large cracks in the walls of the basement. Half-eaten cheese. This seems pretty open and shut. This has caused fractures in the walls. You feed a cheese. Hopefully it's still a hob. Hopefully it has not metamorphosized yet. If uh, So the only advice we can give... Keep leaving out cheese. I'm sorry, sir. Um, you might want to get like a, you might want to get someone in there to survey the stability of your house. But the immediate concern right now is uh is the cheese. Keep leaving out the cheese. Apparently, it does not fully eat the cheese. It only eats however much it wants, and then it's done. I mean, giving it too much cheese is better than not enough, right? Yep. Yellow? Got rumor here. I need to place an order of 60 gallons of orange drink here. I got a big old party I'm setting up here at the studio, and we're gonna need that orange drink to... Uh, too many mouths to feed, you know what I mean? Gonna need that orange drink to feed my brew. I thought y'all still got that cheesy greaser. It's too Give many me. mouths to feed. Uh, maybe the uh, uh, pepper squeeze. Don't tell me you don't got the pepper squeeze. Mr. Rubber, good day, sir. Good day, sir. Here I am, trying my hardest to learn about all of these common problems that household owners can face. Having to break the news to a mother uh, that her child is currently being digested by possibly an old television in the closet. Um, and here you are, prank calls... I don't appreciate this. Hello. Hey, so my doctor told me I should call this number. I have no idea why. He won't tell me anything. He said you could help, so here goes nothing, I guess. Um, so I've recently been having just the worst headaches, and just barely I woke up and felt my eyes were starting to look kind of pink. I'm really freaked out right now, and I'm not sure what I have. I can't find anything online. Can you help me? All right. Headaches, pink eyes. I believe we just read about this. 
Which one was it? It was like one of the later ones, right? Oh no, was it Fay Flu? F? Uh oh, network went down. I think it was this one. Should have read the description again. Okay, the picture of the Fay Flu, the person was pink and like sprouting pink flowers. I forget what the symptoms were, but headaches, starting to look pink. I mean, not many, not many of these things are sicknesses. So I don't think there's too many options. I'm gonna have to go with Fay Flu on this one. Sir, I hope you like the color pink. Uh, you're gonna have to live with it. Uh, you know, we probably should get some researchers to try to find some real solutions uh, to some of these problems. I feel kind of bad about having to tell people there's no it, there's no solution. Yellow. You gotta tell me what's going on inside my home, okay? I'm freaking out over here. There's holes all over my freaking house, man. Freaking holes! I'm stepping around big wooden splinters. There's no telling how much damage there is. I've got this big gaping one in my kitchen that I have no idea how freaking deep it goes. To top it all off, my skittish little greyhound goblin is nowhere to be found. She probably took off after seeing this mess. I need help. Bad. Okay, holes. And the dog is gone. Please hold. Okay, the network's back. Okay. Something that causes holes and could act and could also take your dog. Maybe the roots? That roots one? Floor roots? Like they can take pets. There's holes. Stepping around big wooden splinters. Mentions a big gaping one. Doesn't mention big holes. Doesn't mention big holes here. Let's see. The Attic Gnome wouldn't do that. Bogart. I don't think it makes holes. <clears throat> Doesn't mention this fire's flooding electrical outage. Oh, God. Cellar Grotto. Now, the Cellar Grotto is in the cellar. Like, the dog could, like, go into the Cellar Grotto. But it's not going to make big holes because it only stays in the cellar. Doesn't it mentions warped floorboards, other hazards, but he's specifically talking about holes, big gaping hole. I guess it could possibly be the cellar grotto, but it's not mentioning the holes. Wouldn't it be the fracture hob, not the horde. Not the Laundry Gnome. Mirror Nymph or Memory Wisp wouldn't do that. Night Gnome, Night Wisp. What, the night wisp? what was Night Wisp? Oh, a Night Wisp whispers promises to you. That's not it. <clears throat> Would not be the Pipe Growth or the Pipe Hob. Portal, no, Portal just appears in your basement. Doesn't damage anything. What was the seedling? Outdoor planters are gardens, feed, they eat weeds. No, nothing here about going in the house and making holes. Wouldn't it be the stair slug. This wasn't making holes. Not tea sprite. Termites, ticks, not the toilet hob. The travel, no. Not the, no, it's not making holes. Uh, the unicorn can affect the dog. Okay, the the dog the pets might dig inside the home. There's holes all over my house. Stepping into big, around big wooden splinters, big gaping hole. The dog's gone. Hmm. Okay, so maybe the holes are not the supernatural thing. Maybe the thing infected the dog, and the dog made the holes. It does say dig inside the home. 
broken floorboards. This seems this seems like it's probably it. Wouldn't it be the whistling fungi? What would that do to the dog? Mine's right wood secretions. No, wood not wood secretions. It's got to be it's got to be this. It infected the dog and the dog made the holes. Okay, so what happens? Um what are we telling him to do? Uh it would it should go away a few months on its own or you can remove it surgically. Ba oh, bathe your dog, sir. Sir, you need to clean your filthy dog so to prevent it from getting this. Um Sorry, I don't know how to find your dog. Hopefully the dog comes back. I can't promise that. I can't promise that. Hopefully your dog is not waking up other things beneath the soil. <clears throat> We've heard something about the soil and something under the soil. Uh, unclear what that might be. Uh, hopefully the dog comes back uh, on its own. Because I don't think you're... F Yellow? All right. I'm going to need someone to explain what in the name of Christmas is happening to my living room. I'm back from vacation and the house is already turning into a disaster not 24 hours later. And my living room is absolutely covered in soil and plants. Looks like a gosh... Darn nursery in there. What is happening? Is is this what happens when you buy a bad rug or something? Okay. Back from vac- Oh. It's, it's the travel gnome. She just came back from vacation. The living room is being covered in soil and plants. Please hold. <clears throat> Let's see. <clears throat> create expansive gardens in their homes, creating soil, plants, common outdoor pet. Yeah, it's the travel gnome. Okay, ma'am. You're going to have to spray pesticides and weed killers in the home. And hopefully it leaves. Or you could invite other people to stay at your house. And hopefully the gnome will leave within their luggage. I still don't like that kind of solution, to just pass off the problem to someone else. But a few of these suggest it. All right, ma'am, I'm sorry. You've got a travel gnome. It's not as bad as some of these other things. It's just kind of a pain. There we go. <clears throat> the lesson here, never go anywhere. Travel gnome can't get in your home if you don't travel. Preventative measures. Hello? There's something... There's something in my basement. I don't know what it is. All I know is when I open my basement door, it smells like a damn sewer, and I can hear it making all kinds of horrible noises. It sounds like there might be a lot of water down there, too. I don't know what it might be doing down there, but I have a feeling it's causing a whole lot of damage. Please, send somebody to help with this. I can't deal with something like this. All right, something in the basement. Smells like a sewer, makes noises, might be a lot of water. Please. So, there was an early one that we saw. Well, we just got Cellar Grotto recently, but there was something else. Um... The cellar growths? <clears throat> In cellars, slimy residue, sound of dripping or stretching, strange glows. Uh, it doesn't say it smells. It doesn't say there's a smell. Does the grotto smell? Bad smell. Okay, yeah. Cellar grotto reports a bad smell. Higher humidity. Open the basement door, smells like a sewer, makes noises.
It is an odd noise. And there's a lot of water. Okay. So let's see. What is he... <laughs> Sir, you are going to have to find the creator of the grotto and present them with a gift of gold. Uh, you will have... He's somewhere in the lake in that's now in your basement. <laughs> Bring spelunking and snorkeling equipment on your excursion. It's probably easier just to utilize the, the grotto removal team. I would suggest that. Unless you want to go on, an, on a cellar adventure... Cellar Grotto, not Growths. <clears throat> Does the HSA Grotto Removal Team, do they provide the gift of gold? Or do you have to provide that? Oh, hey, accuracy 100%. I can't believe how good I'm doing. I'm doing such a good job. More, another discount ticket for me. Okay, what do we got? We got a new mail. From Mike 3. The hole is reheated. Rape has a hole is bright. It's not an egg here. I must find the new spot. It, the hole is here. Is that Whiskers? Did Whiskers find Mike? We know that Mike is in a hole in the wall. It's, uh... Yeah, that hole. I guess that's in the office. And uh, Whiskers apparently has found Mike. Scheduling changes. Employee 036 regarding your schedule this week. Due to a shortage of available staff, we'll need you to come into work this Saturday and Sunday... Thanks for being a team player. Rest assured, your additional labors will be recognized. Wow. I'm being recognized. What an honor. Let's see. Tamed River Root. My high accuracy rate has awarded me today's daily coupon. Uh, tamed River Root. Plucked and tamed straight from the waters within the undersoil. This River Root is as reliable as they come. Their gentle, high-frequency cries are guaranteed to keep my garden safe from all manners of pests and predators. Don't forget to keep them well watered and well monitored. To receive my discount, simple, type the following code, root in for you. These are pretty good codes. Wow, $738 down to $550. That is a good deal. Doing a good job is its own reward, but also getting these discount coupons is also a pretty good reward. No new videos on the uh, on the desktop, but it's Friday. Well, not the end of the week. We have to work on Saturday and Sunday, as we as we just learned. Our our labors will be recognized, though. Recognized. <clears throat> Let's clock in. All right, so hopefully we get a call. There we go. Hello. Supervisor Carol here. Thine accuracy continues to impress those of us above and below the soil. I have updated your permissions once more. Keep up the great work, employee. Our eyes rest soundly upon thee. Wonderful. She's breaking out the more formal language since she's so impressed with me is what's happening. Okay, let's take a look at our new, uh, okay, animation. Animations are any miniature humanoid figure. Hold on a moment. Yellow. Home safety hotline. There were Satan worshippers in my shed. I think it might be my no good teenager having joined up with one of those dungeon dragon cults they say these days because he's been gone for days now and the next thing you know i find a dang tree growing in my shed the tree is all covered in torn up fabric and some kind of black liquid classic satanistic ritual crap i assume but tell me what i can do to get these godless teens off my property yeah those dungeon dragon cults i'll tell you please hold you know i think she's i think she's she's diagnosed it herself but I do need to go through these new entries before we can really help her. 
Okay, animations. Miniature humanoid figures such as dolls, puppets, or marionettes capable of moving on their own. Homeowners with animations most commonly report hearing clattering noises at night, missing or stolen household objects. They're usually not dangerous to humans and will ignore humans entirely as they go about their business. Their presence in a household may indicate the interest of other potentially dangerous parties. Most animations will depart or collapse on their own after completing their intended function. No further action is needed. If an animation persists for more than a few days in a single location, maybe a sign of more dangerous activity. Contact pest removal services. Okay, so <clears throat> they are working at the they're at, at the the beckoning of something else. You don't really have to worry about the animation, but you have to worry about the something else. <clears throat> Ooh, the Closet Labyrinth. Closet Labyrinths are large, twisting networks of tunnels that are known to occasionally in appear inside of the closets or wardrobes of wealthy homeowners who were left behind in homes once owned by the wealthy. Homeowners with Closet Labyrinths will often report missing clothes or the sounds of distant cries coming from the closet. Closet labyrinths are incredibly easy to get lost in by design and can prove especially hazardous to homeowners, carrying valuable items such as gold, precious silk, or rare spices on their person. They are otherwise, otherwise harmless to those who do not enter their domain. If a closet labyrinth is discovered, it is advised to lock or blockade the entrance to prevent accidental entry and diminish the lure of the labyrinth's hidden riches. If it is absolutely vital a closet labyrinth be removed from a home, is advised to utilize HSH's labyrinth removal team. I want to know the details about labyrinth removal. I would, I, I'd like to know about that. <clears throat> um, there are hidden riches, though. I mean, it, it, surely I could find the hidden riches. I mean, other people may have gotten forever lost in the Twisting Labyrinth, but I'm different. I could find those gold, precious silks, or rare spices. I'm sure I could. Well, think about that later. Right now, let's think about the Dreamweaver. Dreamweavers are large, spider-like creatures known to dream weave dreams into reality. They are also known to cause nearby humans to only dream about everything being covered in webs. They will only move into a household if no other spiders are present. So you want at least one spider in your house. Dreamweavers are parasitic in nature and will feed off the dreams of humans while they sleep. While this does not cause any direct harm to humans, it can lead to increased anxiety, and the large webs they weave can often trap dust, pets, and children, causing further complications. Man, a bunch of these hazards are problems for pets and children. To remove a Dreamweaver from a household, how homeowners should ref refrain from sleeping for as long as possible in order to starve the creature and encourage it to find a new home. Dreamweavers will often attempt to induce sleep by ensnaring homeowners and injecting them with a sleep-inducing venom. Do not let them do this. That's good advice. <laughs> Don't let them ensnare you and inject you with venom. I mean, maybe you should just go to, like, a motel for a few days instead of just trying not to sleep. I don't know. False flower. False... F well, it's a sound. They're long, slender creatures that vaguely resemble common house plants. They are known to take root in indoor potted plants, disguising themselves among the flowers. Homeowners often report hearing faint singing. They're harmless if left to their own devices, but if homeowners attempt to disrupt or remove them, they will lash out, spraying a toxic chemical known to cause blindness or loss of sight. They are not to be disturbed once they have taken root. Water regularly. Try not to notice their presence. Ignore their singing. Okay. You've just got a house guest now. 
Je you know? They're living with you now. Ooh, a kobold. Talking about those dungeon dragon skulls. Kobolds are five foot tall humanoid creatures with dog like faces that are known to burrow into dark rooms or storage closets and make them their home. Homeowners infested with kobolds will sometimes report broken floorboards. Kobolds are harmless to humans until they're discovered, at which point they will often lash out violently to protect their home, causing injury or even death. If discovered, kobolds will attempt to lure humans into their space by poking their dog-like heads out from behind corners and whimpering. Do not ever enter a kobold's domain. One should not attempt to remove a kobold from their home. It is strongly advised to hire professionals and utilize HSH's pest removal service. Yeah, don't, uh, don't try to handle that on your own. Rain Nymph. Rain nymphs are a subspecies of nymph that are active during rainstorms. Faint humanoids with a glow in their eyes that often appear near windows and doors asking to be let inside. Homeowners afflicted with rain nymphs often report flooding. The floods rain nymphs cause can lead to water damage, which can be costly and dangerous to a home. They're very preventable in that their pleas to be let inside can be ignored. It's advised to stay away from doors and windows during rainstorms to avoid having to endure rain nymphs various temptations and threats. Yeah, just ignore it. It'll go away. Soap Sprite. Soap sprites are a subspecies of sprite that are known for consuming bacteria and harmful microbes. They frequently occupy bathrooms, appearing similar to pink bars of soap in order to feed off the hands that use them. They secrete a suds-like substance that is used to digest their meals. Despite their bacteria-eating lifestyle, are frequently known to spread deadly diseases such as the fey flu to humans who handle them. That fey flu is going around. Makes them a serious household hazard. They're easy to remove and dispose of by way of tongs or other grabbing utensils. Identifying soap sprites can be difficult. It is recommended to not keep any bars of soap in the household to ensure they can be identified. I mean, like, use liquid soap, I guess is what they're saying. Not, don't use soap. Just that they, ha they can only imitate bars of soap. Sprig tree. Rapidly growing tree-like organism that takes root in a human body. Oh, that's no good. They're known to cause structural damage to a home as they continue to grow, generally reaching their full size in a matter of days. They are known to be caused by the touch of a spriggan. Sprig trees are incredibly deadly to those infected and will result in death once they've reached a certain size. Anyone near a sprig tree while it is growing in an outdoor location, indoor location, is also at risk of injury or death from the structural damage that will occur as it grows. There is no cure for a sprig tree. The infected individual should be quarantined, while any others occupying the household should vacate the premises immediately. Do not touch the infected person or the black substance that leaks from them under any circumstances. Begin looking for a new home and arrange any funeral services needed for the affected individual. Goodness. It takes a very, you know, it's a very specific trick to make them grow. Also, it mentions black oil. Can't tell if it's a red tree. Might be. Sprig vines. Rapidly growing vines that are known to quickly consume a house and block off exits. They are a sign that a spriggan has been provoked. Sprig vines are not dangerous on their own, can be cut through with gardening, common gardening tools. The tendency to block exits can create struggles when needing to exit the house in a hurry such as in the case of fi Floods, Fire, or a Spriggan in Pursuit. We have not unlocked the Spriggan entry, by the way. 
seems relevant right now. Sprig vines will continue to grow so long as the spriggan that made them desires it. It is advised to vacate and rehome as soon as possible. Trash gnome, of which I'm sure many people respond with, Hey, it's me! Trash gnomes are a subspecies of gnome with a thick brownish gray fur, frog-like eyes, and, a large ga and large gaping mouths. They are known to seek out trash receptacles and burrow inside them for both food and shelter. Homeowners with trash gnomes often report the smell of rotten eggs, finding large clumps of fur throughout the house, tipped garbage cans, and loud crunching sounds at night. Trash gnomes are highly territorial once homed. While their bite is not fatal, it can often lead to inconvenient and painful circumstances, such as the loss of a finger or nose, while attempting to discard trash or remove a trash bag from the receptacle. They are also capable of spreading deadly diseases to humans, such as rabies or tetanus. Okay, forget about fey flu. This thing can just give you rabies. To prevent a trash gnome from homing inside your trash, it is recommended to not let trash in the home uh, be idle for more than a day or two as their noses are highly sensitive to the smell, to remove a trash gnome permanently, it, you know, use the pest removal services. Okay. <clears throat> Just needed to get all that. Now, Patrice, thank you for being on hold. Very important that she stay on hold, because I think that we encountered her problem uh, when we were reading through this. Gone for days, I find a dang tree growing in my shed. Tree is covered in torn up fabric and black liquid. So, this looks like it's the sprig tree. It's like a tree. Came out of nowhere. Uh, there's. It mentioned the black liquid. Where was that? Yeah, black substance. And the tree was covered in, in clothes. Well, so, um, so I can give you this advice. The only well, there is a problem in that this is caused by the touch of a spriggan, and I cannot advise you about the spriggan because I'm I'm guessing it's here and I haven't unlocked it yet. So uh, you may still have a problem, even though I am diagnosing you as having a sprig tree. <clears throat> Submit. Thank you for holding. Your son is dead. Good job. Not many entries left, really. We've unlocked most of them. We've been, we're getting some real serious stuff now. Like a bunch of these that we're unlocking are... The solution is leave your home. Go now. Hello? Last week about some noises in my house, and after following the instructions you sent me, they still seem to be happening. I already told you guys what was happening, but uh, the short story is that every night I'm hearing clattering noises coming from the kitchen. In the morning, I usually check the kitchen for any signs of droppings or whatever, but the place looks spotless. Can you please tell me what's actually happening so I can get some sleep? All right, he called last week. Sent, we sent the instructions, and he said he followed the instructions. Clattering noises from the kitchen. No droppings. Place is spotless. Please hold. All right, so hopefully he doesn't have a bog art, because he did say that he was... Uh, he, he followed the instructions. Clattering from the kitchen. He doesn't... It's every. It's at night. At night, there's clattering from the kitchen. No droppings. It's clean. All right. So wouldn't be that. Would it be one of the hobs? wouldn't be Dreamweaver. Clattering in the kitchen. Cobalt? 
Broken floorboard. No, no, not that. Trash gnome? No, there's no noise here. It's about smell of rotting eggs, finding finding clumps of fur. Mm. All right, let's just let's just go through these. I don't think it's the animation. Actually, no, hold on. This did say clattering noise. I, I missed that when I looked at this the first time. Hold on. Clattering at night. He doesn't. He doesn't say there's there's droppings. It's spotless. So he said he called last week. Okay, so it does say that an animation will depart or collapse, and no, if it once it completes its function, no further action is needed. But it might not. It might keep going. And if it does keep going, it might be a sign of more dangerous activity. So, the instructions would have been to not do anything. But it's, it's still doing it. So, let's see. It does, it does match with the clattering at night. It doesn't mention anything is stolen. But of course, no droppings, and it's not making a mess. It's spotless. And I think, like, the bit here about how he already asked about it, and it's still happening. I think that does match the solution here, because it does say that the animation can persist. So it might be the animation. It might be. However, he specifies the kitchen. There's nothing here about a kitchen specifically. I, st I think it's the animation, but is there anything that would be attracted to the kitchen in particular? Just thinking about each one of these that we've seen. The common hob, I think, can be in any room. It doesn't mention that they make noise, though. They don't mention a clattering. The flower sings. It doesn't clatter. The horde does not make noise. Well, I mean, the horde brings garbage in, so it's not going to be that. It's not the cobalt. I already looked at that. No, it wouldn't be lamp sprite. Laundry gnome is attracted to the laundry, not the kitchen. Wouldn't it be night gnome? Or night wisp. That does that. It does. It's not the sound. Pipe growth makes different sounds. Pipe hob. I don't think pipe. I don't think pipe hob makes a sound in particular. I think it's probably animation. Toilet hob. I mean, that's in the toilet, not the kitchen. I think it's probably. I'm going with animation. I'm going with animation on that. didn't mention i mean i don't know he didn't say anything about stolen objects though hello home safety hotline yes hi i recently purchased from your company one of your home security installation services and not a week later i'm still getting break-ins as i mentioned prior someone has been breaking into the greenhouse and taunting us with their singing 
They could be some insane serial killer, for all we know. All they do is sing at night, but no one in my family feels safe anymore. None of your stupid security alarms even went off. All right. Hold. Into the greenhouse and is singing. That sounds like the, um, the false flower. Let's see. Take root in indoor potted plants, disguising among the flowers. Here is singing. Someone's breaking into the greenhouse, taunting with singing. They sing at night. It doesn't mention night. But a pl it's... A greenhouse, so plants, and singing, and I feel like this is the only one I can think of that had a description that was kind of like this. The security system would not notice the false flower. Look how small it is. I think it's got to be false flower. I can't, uh, like, uh, thinking about the other, I don't, think about the other entries, plant and singing, I feel like false flower is the only one that matches these. So, ma'am, um, I'm, I'm afraid to tell you. You're not in any danger, ma'am. It's not a serial killer. But uh, you ha you can't do anything about it. Just water your plants regularly. Ignore the singing. Wear goggles when you water the plants. Uh, one of them may spray a toxic chemical in your eyes. So. Um, yellow? got two dumbbells that I bought from you that need a good spit shine, you know what I mean? I mean, these bells have got all kinds of grit, grime, grease. Can't even see my face in them when I'm deadlifting, you know what I mean? I mean, I'm looking at these bells right now here. I'm seeing uh, spit, crud, and juice, and uh... Hey, who, who are you? How did you get in? Hey, now, now easy there. Get away. Get away. Well. I guess we don't need to help with that one. But maybe we won't maybe we won't get any more prank calls. That at least would be something. Wasting our time. Sounded like he uh had some sort of unexpected encounter. What was that sound? Was it this one? Maybe a little similar. Yellow? here. I noticed that you've been experiencing regular disruptive calls from a false caller with ulterior motives. I've seen to it that this false caller shall no longer be a blight upon me. Keep up the good work, employee. Thanks, Carol. She's always looking. She's got my back. She, what a good supervisor. See, I was having that problem with a prank caller, and now I'm not going to get prank called anymore. Now I can focus on my job. It's good when you can feel if good it's good when you feel like your boss supports you uh in your job. Like it feels like you're not doing it alone, you know? They've got your back. Oh, that's not Yellow? There's there's some kind of insect in my house and I I think it may have died. Uh, I saw this big nasty thing fly in through the window and I haven't been able to find it anywhere but I, I think maybe it electrocuted itself somewhere because I can smell this awful burning scent throughout the house. Can someone come find this thing and get it out of my house? Alright, I think we know what this Please is. Hold. Lamp sprite. Uh oh, network error. Network's down. Fortunately, this could really only be the lamp sprite. Nothing else really fits that description. A th and a, something that could resemble a large insect came in, can't find it, 
smell a burning smell, and it is the case that the lamp sprite will cause a burning smell. It did mention that. Uh, so, sir, it's in one of your lamps. Do not disturb the lamp sprite. Do not do it. It just let it run its course. Turn your well. I think what it was. Do not turn the lamp off that it's in. Turn your other lamps off, and then just wait for the lamp sprite to leave. Just wait for it. You can't rush these things. Good job. I wish our, you know, I appreciate that my supervisor has my back, but I wish they would, uh, you know, work on these network outages. It's inconvenient. Can't guarantee I'm providing accurate information. Hello? It, it took my daughter. It took my daughter. She, she's gone. It wrapped its awful tendrils around her and took her down with it. I saw it with my own eyes. Please, send help. The police won't do anything. Send help. Tendrils, you say? <clears throat> the tendrils took the daughter and took the daughter down with it. Please so, hold it. it could... It could be the bush. Let's see. What does it describe that the bush does? <clears throat> okay, so the thing is, this doesn't mention tendrils. Right? It says it just swallows kids. Then there was floor roots. Floor roots are tendrils. And they do like to take kids. It says they're a strangling hazard. Um, if you want to get rid of it, place the dolls in the room. The dolls in the roots. Okay, so once the once the roots wrap around the doll, I guess it'll take the doll. Doesn't say where they go, but it says here that the tendrils wrapped around her and took her down. The only thing I'm thinking about is that it says it wrapped its tendrils and took her down with it. With the with the floor roots, like it's not coming from anything. You know, it's just the roots. There's no it that it's attached to. So I'm thinking it's floor roots, but maybe we should just think about that. We'll look, just looking at the list, what is there anything else? that might have tendrils that would take something down take or take someone down i don't think there are many things that this would fit i don't think there are many things that we would get a, a description of like that now, this is a spider it doesn't that spider doesn't have tendrils Not the vines. The vines are just vines. They don't take people. That's probably floor roots. I think it's got to be floor roots. Well, unfortunately, sir, I don't think there's anything I can... T uh, I don't think there's anything I can tell you about. Uh... Sir, um, make repairs to the floor as needed. I guess... Is, uh... It's not the answer you want. It's the answer you're getting. Good job! Sometimes... There's only so much you can do to help people. You can repair your floor with HSH's home repair services, new floorboards. That's something. Hello? It, 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 it stole me. It stole me. I'm, I'm not me anymore. I'm, it, 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 it took me. It took me. I can't see myself anymore. I'm gone. Help me. Don't get me back, please! 
I think we know what this is. Please hold. Uh, mirror nymph. Let's see. Steal the likeness of homeowners and passersby. Carry a mirror. They beckon others to look into the mirror. They report... Homeowners report not being able to recognize its own face. Their own face. I think it's got to be that. I can't see myself anymore. It's got to be that. Okay, ma'am. Uh, you need to catch the mirror nymph and break the mirror with something made of iron. I hope you have something made out of iron uh, in easy reach. May I suggest a used horseshoe? 90% chance they're made of iron. Mirror nymph. Hope she gets her face back. The mirror nymph does not seem that tough to beat down, honestly. You could beat up a mirror nymph. Hello? Druggies might be in my house because I keep finding used needles, cans, metal scrap, and other such nasty things on my living room carpet. I have children in this house, and this is a very serious hazard to their health. And before you say anything, yes, I already called the police, and they told me to call this number instead. So I assume that you will send over the proper authorities to deal with this matter promptly. Well, ma'am, you seem very calm considering you believe that there are strangers in your house somewhere. Please hold. I would be I would be pretty freaked out about that if I had reason to believe that there's someone in here and I don't know where they are. But I think we know what this is. There's garbage that are just appearing. Which might mean the horde. Let's see. Vast quantities of trash, rotten food, used syringes, rusty metal. It sounds like the Horde. You know, sometimes when they call here, they say that the police told them to call this number. So did she describe this to the police and the cop on the other end is thinking, oh yeah, that's the Horde. Yeah, I've seen cases of the Horde. I've seen him. That's a, that's a case of the horde if I've ever heard one. Nothing I can do about that. I'm just a I'm just a police officer, ma'am. I can't help you with your horde problem. You gotta call this number. They'll send you an information packet to tell you how to deal with that. I, I it's not my not my department. I guess they must since they know to tell them to call us. Okay, ma'am. Um, you need to sell your house. And in the future. Clean your filthy house so the horde doesn't notice you. You gotta clean it. It's your own fault. You might want to try to attract a hob into your home. Um, it's too late now. You gotta sell your house. I like how uh, some of these solutions are just sell your house, and that ties into the real estate video we saw before with weirdly low prices. God, this house has got a bad case of the horde. She's not going to be happy with that answer. No one's had a house fire yet. Well, I mean, if they did, would they really need to call us? It would probably be kind of obvious if the house was on fire. Hello? Yeah, is there some kind of home security camera I can purchase from you guys? For the last few nights, we haven't gotten any sleep thanks to some punks outside with flashlights or something. Someone keeps flashing these bright lights through our windows at night, but I haven't been able to see who's doing it. 
I want to catch them on camera so I can finally bust these stupid teens for all they're worth. Okay, lights outside at night. Please hold. It sounds like a night wisp. Bright floating lights hovering outside at windows at night, whispering promises of wealth and good fortune. He doesn't mention whispers of promises. But it is... It, it does describe at night there are someone outside with lights flashing through the windows. I don't know if there's anything else that really describes this. The only thing that concerns me is that he doesn't say he has heard promises. And they mention promises. I don't think anything else... I don't remember anything else here having a description that would sound like there's someone outside your window at night with a light. I'm I'm going to I'm going to go with Night Wisp. Okay, sir, you don't need to buy a camera. Just uh wear a mask for a week when you go to sleep. It's going to go away. It'll go away. You don't have to worry about it. Night Wisp. Another info packet sent out. I mean, that's a better situation to be in than one of the, uh, the ones involving the children vanishing. Or I have a parasite that cannot be removed. Hey, hello? Maybe I should step through it. Yeah, I think... I think I need to go inside. The wind feels so nice. Uh-oh, that sounds like a portal. Please hold. Portals are door-shaped openings to an outdoor location other than the homeowners discovered most commonly in basements or underground cellars. Homeowners with portals re report cold drafts Mentioning a wind, strange dreams, a strong desire to enter. Yeah. Sounds like she found a portal. The only other thing I could think of was the, um... The Closet Labyrinth. But with the Closet Labyrinth, they, people hear distant cries, and there's a temptation to, to go inside to search for riches. But this sounds more like she's got a portal. She's got a portal. Uh, all right, ma'am. So I'm going to send her information that says seal it. You can call HSH's home security services. They're going to seal it up airtight to make sure nothing go nothing comes in. You should not go in the portal, ma'am. Stay out of the portal unless you want to have an isekai adventure, which maybe you do. She might want to. How satisfied are you with your current life, ma'am? Uh, yellow? This might, like, sound strange, but I think there's some kind of, like, squid or something in my bathroom. Like, I went into the bathroom in the middle of the night last night, you know, and I could see something slithering under near the sink with its, like, uh, little tentacles or, like, tendrils or, you know, whatever. But when I turned on the lights, nothing was there. <laughs> I checked under the towel, like, under, you know, like, that little soap thing and everything, but I know it's somewhere. 
like, it's too freaking big to have gone down the drain. Still gotta be hiding in here. Okay, bathroom. Slithering little tendricles. Can't find it. Please hold. Could be the soap sprite. Let's see. So if it was, he wouldn't be able to find it because it looks like soap. It looks like it might have tendricles. Looking at the picture, it might have it. They occupy bathrooms. So it doesn't mention the tendrils. It kind of looks like it does have it. And he saw something slithering in the bathroom. He looked under the little soap thing. I'm thinking it's Soap Sprite because he can't find it because it looks like soap. Is there anything else it could be? Anything else that could hide in a bathroom? Let's just go down the list. The laundry gnome can look like a towel. Yeah, but it's it's attracted to the to the wash to the uh, the washing machine. They steal socks. There's the pipe hob, but they hide in the pipe, and they're small. There's the toilet hob. But they don't have tendrils, do they? It doesn't mention tendrils. I feel like it's soap sprite. I'm gonna tell me as a soap sprite, uh, sir. Easily to it's easy to get rid of it. Take a pair of tongs, pick up the bar of soap, and th and like just throw chuck it out of the house. Just chuck it out of the house. Do not touch it, because it carries disease. Sir, you haven't washed yourself with the bar of soap, have you? That could be a problem. Sir, that is not... Those are not soap suds. Those are not soap suds that you're covering yourself with. Well, hopefully we're right about that. Oh, 90%. I got something wrong. Which one did I get wrong? I don't know. My 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 perfect record destroyed, but which one was wrong? It's gonna eat at me. It's gonna eat at me. My perfect record. I can't believe it. Well, that's clearly a sign that I need to say good night for right now. I've been working for too long. Got it. Got a got a clock out. Go to bed. You don't want you don't want to keep going when clearly you're starting to lose mental acuity. Um, you gotta gotta know your limitations. Gotta know when you take when you need to take a break, and that time is now. Uh, though I am greatly enjoying Home Safety Hotline, working for a hotline in 1996, helping people with their common everyday household problems. Uh, we'll come back for more home safety hotline we did friday but remember our supervisor did say that we do need to work on saturday and sunday this week due to a short uh, shortage of staffing so i guess that's what we're going to be doing next time uh as we continue to feel good about our job and ourselves as we help people out with their problems we'll get to and we've almost unlocked this entire database so 
we've almost got all the information. We'll soon learn about the most secret household problems as we continue on with Home Safety Hotline. <laughs> 